Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play. Today we are starting Midnight Train. Now I believe there's only one chapter of this that's been uh, released so far, but I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. I definitely want to give it a look. And since we've been playing The Witch's Heart forever, I haven't had a chance to play anything else. So we're going to be playing catch up quite a bit, but let's see exactly what's so awesome about this. Okay, yeah, so chapter one, I think is the one that's been released. I'm excited, something new, something different. I don't even know if it's like horror. I shall find that place. I'll keep traveling until I find it. I won't give up. That place is. Okay, Luna Wendell. Okay, is that us? I didn't know who was talking in the beginning. <laughs> Is everything all right, miss? Would you like to explore the train? As long as you don't disturb the other passengers, feel free to do so. Clearly, you've never seen Murder on the Orient Express. Okay, controls. All right, we can run to use an item menu selected from the menu. Interact with the blue box to save. Nice. Hello. Aw, oh, they're sleeping. Okay, there's a book titled The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, written by Arthur Conan Doyle. Good taste in literature. I wanted to see the stars on the way, but today the sky is too cloudy. You can see the night sky from the window, but it's quite cloudy. Hmm, it's like they were telling the truth. Locked, okay. So, we're clearly on a midnight train. Hello, I'm gonna stand in between you guys. This train looks emptier than usual, just like my soul. Okay, depressing much? Do you know the name of this train? It's called the Midnight Express. Not the Orient Express, again. Sorry, it's one of my favorite books slash movies. You can see the night sky from the window, but it's quite cloudy. Okay, I love traveling. My next stop is the scene. It's such a gorgeous place. Don't you agree? 100%. Have you seen a boy around my age here? No? Then get out of my sight! How dare you? Don't you know who I am? Ooh, what's this? On the top of the table, there's a kind of cake you've never seen before. Let's eat it. The food of this train is delicious. Their cakes are so tasty. Delicious strawberry cake. You feel tempted to eat it, but it's only for first class passengers. Oh, we have a little bit of a restraint, do we? I hope we get there soon. A friend's waiting for me. Wait, what do you have on your table? Arya Story! Oh, okay, Lewin Ingram. Interesting. Cup of tea next is... I wonder if it's like inspirations for the developer. That'd be kind of cool. I want to travel around the world to meet new people. Me too. All right, I have no idea what the plot of this game is. Are you hungry? Please wait just a bit more. We are preparing dinner. Okay, I'll help. Oh, it's locked. Oh, something's happening. The music stopped, so you know it's about to go down. Clearly. Oh, where are we? The train stopped. Whoa, is that blood? That's blood. The window is covered in a red fluid. Okay, so it is a horror game. Neat. I'm gonna save so many times. Can't see anything through the window. Is it just me or is the, the carpet more ruffled as well? Shame. Okay, hello? It's locked, oh no. Can I go back? I can. Okay, this is how this game's gonna be, huh? The bottle fell, it sure did, as did my heart. Right into the pit of my stomach. It's all right, it's, it's been a little bit since we played like horror, horror RPG makers. So, cake? I see you over there, Mr. Ghost. You weren't as uh, terrifying as the other things that have happened. So what, one scare per car? What you got? Okay, nothing. Oh, that's something. All right. Where'd everybody go? Uh, 
Oh? You're still here. You were asleep, right? Yeah, you were. And you still are. Um, ma ma'am? You might want to wake up. Or sir, I'm not sure. Ah, that was such a great nap. Hmm? Have we arrived already? The train stopped. What? This is so weird. I can't see anything through the window. It's completely dark. Oh, hello. Are we alone? Everything seems so quiet. I love the music already. Oh, it looks like we're locked in here. All of this is very mysterious. How exciting! Neil Lawton and the Mysterious Midnight Train. Seems like a good title for a mystery novel, don't you think? Uh, oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm saying weird things. I haven't even introduced myself yet. Well, I've said that already. My name is Neil Lawton. My dream is to become a famous detective. I love solving mysteries, though I've never solved one before. Okay, I'm gonna call you Professor Layton. Oh, I should stop talking about myself. What's your name? Huh? Wait, those signs you're doing with your hands. Is that sign language? You're mute. I see. I'm sorry, but I don't know sign language. I got an idea. Take this. It's for you. You got a notebook. Okay. You can write whatever you want to say in it. What's your name? Luna Wendell. Oh, you've even drawn a moon next to your name. Nice to meet you, Luna. I believe we should try getting out of the train first. Let's see. A locked door. That means there must be a key to open it somewhere. It must be hidden in some weird place. Or maybe, to open the door, we need to solve some kind of puzzle or riddle. Hmm, interesting. We should start investigating. She's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> Luna, bye. Ah! What was that? Luna, are you okay? W what? You broke the window. <laughs> I see. The solution was really simple. It was a great idea. Looks like I have a lot to learn from you. Well, we can get out of here now. Watch out, I don't want you to get hurt by the broken glass. Let's go. But it's called Midnight Train, so I thought we were going to stay at the train. Also, that's not how escape rooms work, so hopefully nobody ever takes Luna to an escape room, because she would just break the lock off and make her way in. Huh? This can't be. Where are we? The ground and the sky. Everything's dark. Hmm. Huh. I guess we should follow the train tracks, but we must be careful. Don't be scared, Luna. I'm right here by your side. Did, did you write something? Let me read it. Are you okay? You're shaking. I, I'm okay. I'm not scared. Aww. All right, so first off, if you're in the darkness, how is he going to be able to read the notebook? Secondly, if she sees something behind him, there's no way she can't be like, look out behind you. There's a creeper. No, it's just going to be her scribbling away at the note and then he gets his face ripped off. So that's awesome. This is going to be good times. I'm going to walk in front so I see where I'm going. Not going to run because I'm probably that is a tiny little train, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so small. Uh. Okay. Oh, there's tracks here? I didn't know there were tracks here. Huh. A strange building. It's really suspicious. But I think we should go in. It's not like we have anywhere else to go. Besides, maybe there's a mystery for us to solve inside. Open the door when you feel ready. You're going to be murdered. By the end of this, you're going to be dead. I was just going to say. You're just... I'm calling it now. That's a save box. <sighs> this place gives me the chills. I wonder what this place is. 
Whatever it is, I don't have a good feeling about it. Ah, well. For now, we should look around for clues. Perhaps we'll find something that may help us. If you see anything suspicious, don't hesitate to tell me. An insignificant detail could be the biggest clue. How about this save box? Alright, so we got Luna and Neil. Light of the candles illuminates the room. Okay, we got some gears on the wall? But I can't really interact with them. Alright, we got some blood. There's a hole in the wall. Probably gonna die, but let's give it a look. Let's see what the what the rules of this world are. There's nothing inside. Nothing? Such a shame. I thought there would be something interesting inside. Let me take a look at it as well. Maybe I'll find something. Anything? Neil is focused on expecting the hole. Some wooden boxes, but you can't open them. Neil, are you, are you gonna die, or...? that whoa a huge eye came out of the hole uh, gross don't get close to me Neil often gets in trouble of course he does protect him and help him when necessary in more dangerous situations if you do not manage to protect him it'll be game over what am I supposed to do Okay, fine. Just step on it. All right, Luna, I have a lot to learn about you. Seriously. Thanks, Luna. You're very brave, unlike me. I'm ashamed. I can't believe I got scared by an eye. When I panic, I can't think clearly. Besides, I'm kind of weak. I'm sorry. But I'll try not to be a burden. I can help solve problems or anything that requires logical thinking. As long as it's not when you're scared. Because, yeah. If you're lost and you don't know how to progress, press the help button in the menu and Neil might help you. You can also use it to just talk with your partners and learn more about them. So that means we'll have more than one partner as well. So we, we squooshed the eyeball. Alright, so it's not instant death. It's not the witch's house. You know. I'd like to know what's inside these boxes, but it's impossible to open them. It's a clock, but it's not working. Another save box. It is pretty generous with the saves. It's a strange machine you don't know what it's for. It'd be helpful if I knew anything about machinery. What kind of problems are you going to solve, Neil? I just want to know, because right now you're bringing in a lot of problems in my life. There's a bunch of clocks in this room. Maybe the time means something important. Uh, don't like, don't mind me. I like to think aloud. I'm just trying to find a clue that could help us. There's a bunch of clocks, okay. Um, There are a bunch of clocks. Each one marks a different time. I'm not gonna get that key. No, sir. Okay, so this clock was stopped, right? Okay, it's not working. And that's locked. Okay, so both doors are locked. Huh. There's a key on the ground. I'm going to leave it. But he's not saying anything. All right, well, let's let's go for it. Why not? Okay, got a key. Oh, they just uh, I thought they were going to keep moving. Look at that. I'm sure that mark wasn't there before. We must examine it carefully. I don't have a good feeling about it. You're gonna die. If you walk over to that, you're gonna die. I'm gonna tell you right now that you will die. Watch, watch, okay? Watch my experience of a big crybaby come to fruition. Told you! I told you! I called it. Okay. Especially when Neil's like, we have to investigate it. No, we don't, you big stupid. All right. Um, maybe I can use the key? No, I don't want to examine the mark. You, you really want... How? 
Oh my god. Okay, maybe from up here? I don't understand what you want me to do. You said you want me to examine the mark. You legit want me to die. What is happening? Okay, can I... Is there any certain way that I can... See, as soon as I... As soon as I turn to it, I get squooshed. Neil, you're an idiot. You are a world-class idiot. Okay, clock key. I'm not gonna... Strange machine, you don't know what it's for. Alright. So what am I gonna do with this key? Seriously. Um... No clocks here. Should I... I don't know. It's locked. Yeah, I, I want to open it. Why? Why do you want me to examine this? Oh, okay. All right. You just wanted me to click right in front of it. Uh, that That's my bad. Okay, that's my bad. I'll, I'll own up to that. Hmm. That mark's too suspicious. Don't get on top of it. Let me try something. He gets on top of it. Luna, hide behind that box. Please, trust me. I thought we had to be on it to look at it, was the thing. Like, you know, you step on it, then you click, and then you can actually do something. No, no, not this game. I need something to throw. Oh, I found a coin in one of my pockets. That'll do. I have very bad aim, but I hope the coin falls on top of the mark. I would love if he, like, didn't hit it and then had to go back and pick it up and that's when he stepped on the mark. That would have made me really happy. Anyways, <laughs> just as I thought, it was a trap. What kind of place is this? Moving eyes and deadly traps. This is too much for my poor heart. But I'm glad you're alright, Luna. I think we form a great team. Let's keep going. Okay, examine with caution to prevent game overs. I got it. If I step on it again, will it... Why does that clock have spikes? It would have killed us. But I'm glad nothing happened to you. Oh. If we step on it again, does it go backwards? Actually, I have that clock key. Right? Can I... No? That's what a clock key is for, is the clock, right? Okay, fine. I'm not sure where you want me to go. The clock's moved. Oh, I don't like this place at all. Okay, can I just look at it? I'm a little confused. Um... Locked. Oh, so it's a clock room key, but it's not actually for a clock. Got it. That's probably my bad as well. Um, a large clock, but it looks like it doesn't work. Okay. Do you think the machines work? Perhaps they're only for decoration. Locked. Locked. Hmm. I don't like how this is. President decorated with a red ribbon. It's a note saying to Neil Lawton. Are these gifts for us? Should we open them? No. It's a present uh, to Luna. Okay. Hmm. Well, they are color coded. Sure. I think this is the first time I'm not excited to get a present. I hope there's nothing odd inside. There probably is. There's a pretty pocket watch inside the present. You got a pocket watch. There's also a note inside. You got a note. Miss Luna Wendell. If you wish to leave this place, you should catch the next train. The train goes off in three hours. 
If you are not able to get there in time, you'll be stuck in this place forever. You won't be able to get in the train if you don't bring with you a working pocket watch. Once time runs out, the clock will stop. If you break the rules, you will be punished. The content of this note is applicable for the four destinations. Have a good trip. Th this must be some kind of joke. You also received the pocket watch with an odd note? If I got it right, we need to find the next train before the time runs out or we'll get stuck here. We'll need these pocket watches to get out the train so we can't lose them. This is too cruel. The clock's hand started moving. Huh? Our pocket watches also started working. So what the note said is true? It can't be. We only have three hours. If we can't find the train before time runs out, uh, I don't want to even think about it. Why is this happening to us? What is this place? There's too many questions without answers. It's alright, Neil. For now, we should try to be positive and keep calm. My deductions might not be much help, but I'll do what I can to get out of the, get us out of this place together. We don't have much time, so we must start looking for that train. I don't really want to get stuck in such a strange place. I guess it's weird for me to say these words while I'm shaking, right? <laughs> Let's solve the mystery together. Oh, Luna. Luna. Of course. I'm sure we'll make a great team. We'll solve this mystery and escape this place. I promise. Then, when we get out of here, I'll be able to start my career as a detective. Let's go, Luna. Aww. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. So can we look at our pocket watch? We can. Okay, it doesn't say anything. I, I wanted to know if there was something engraved in it or... Uh, are you okay, Luna? I still feel a little dizzy. I can't believe we're in a situation like this. Maybe I'm sleeping and all of this is just a nightmare. That would make sense. I always fall asleep when I travel by train. Ouch! That hurt! Why didn't you pinch my cheek? Oh, I got it. Goodbye to my dream theory. I suppose it's time to face reality. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. What's up with this little floor panel there? Hello? Oh, bl blood is always good. It's always a good indicator. You know, if anything has proven true in horror games, is that blood stains are a good thing. That's blood. I wonder if there's more people lost in this place. If that's the case, I hope they're safe. Okay, we didn't die instantly. It's locked. Hmm? There's something written on the door. X minus X plus X equals. A password! I love solving puzzles like this. Wait. That's not good. We don't have time for stuff like this. <laughs> well, Luna, that's... I like your... I like your energy. Stop that! It's impossible to break the door. You'll end up getting hurt. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll open this door. For now, I believe it'd be a great idea to explore for a bit. Yeah, I bet you would. Nothing useful, nothing useful. What was that sound? Several documents scattered on the ground, but they're so dirty it's impossible to read them. Same. Weird machine doesn't work. Weird machine. Okay. It's all the same. What's in here? Or is it just nothing? Oh, hi! Is that thing on the wall over there a switch? It's too far. We should think of a way to activate it from here. Is there something we could use in this room? Um... Not... not really. Rusty pipe. Okay, sure? Sweet! Now we can activate the switch using the pipe! Oh, but it's too short to reach it. 
If we find more, we can put them together to create a larger pipe. There's lots of machinery in this place, so I don't think it'll be too hard to find more. Two more will be enough. So I guess they're talking about other areas, right? Okay, what are you? Nothing. Uh, I said the machine's filled with ashes. Bunch of peculiar objects on the shelf. Um, wooden barrels, it's impossible to open them. There's some blood. It's locked. Why is everything always locked? It's so annoying. Uh, uh, Luna, don't try to break the closet. She was thinking about it. You know she was. I don't think I want to stand there to be 100% honest with you. But wait, this is odd. I can hear the sound of a clock, but I haven't seen one. Do you think it's hidden somewhere? We should look around a bit more. I, I don't want to! Neil? I don't want to. There. There it is! What was the point of that? Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Can I help you? Alright, now that we saved, I'll go check the... The blood, the blood splatter, and we'll see if we die. We probably will. What's behind this curtain? Death. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, of course, because that means somebody else has died there before. Dare. Yeah. It's alright. I just wanted to see. I'm probably not going to be a completionist about this, but for the ones that I can do when they're right there, we'll definitely give them a try. Hello? More clocks? I'm starting to hate them. It's like they're laughing at our faces, reminding us that our time is running out. Mm-hmm. Put this clock here. Put the clock we got right here. Yes. Yeah, I'm so smart. Okay. Uh, no. Mm-mm. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just book it, actually. Okay, cool. You guys, you guys want to see if that's death too? If my theory proves still, I bet it does because freaking uh, a, a floating skull is what told us to go this way. Let's see. Let's see if it kills us. Looks like the clock's not working. I have a bad feeling. Anyway, it seems like there's nothing interesting here. <laughs> Again? <sighs> right, I learned my lesson. We shouldn't get too close to the clocks. I almost got turned into a pancake. There's a red eight, actually. Oh, so we needed a skull? What's this thing doing here? There's something between its teeth. That's so gross. Closet key. Yeah, I saw you pack your mouth. You little Pac-Man. Okay, so we have a red eight. All right, so not every time is death. Sometimes we're gonna have to. This game wants to mess with me so bad, doesn't it? Uh, no, not here. We need to go. Oh, closet key, got it, over here. It's the one that Luna wanted to bash open. This one. Closet key, yep. A number painted inside, 226. Okay, so 226 in green. Um, I need uh, something to write some notes on because I don't have anything like that. Whee! Okay. So, wow, this binder is not cooperating. Okay, so we had a red eight and a green two, two, six. But the six looked bigger to me than the other numbers. Alright, anyways, I'm just gonna set this right here on my- on my desk. Alright, there's several objects inside. Oh, a pipe! Just what we needed. Okay, combine the three pipes, got the long pipe. And we're also getting out of here. Okay. So now... I bet you I can't see my escape key. That's not escape! That's escape. The binder is covering up my keyboard. Alright, uh... Fair excuse, right? Uh, long pipe. Yes.
Uh, blue 15? Yep, okay, blue 15. Okay. Hopefully nothing happened when I went back because I was writing stuff. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode right here because we know exactly what we need to do. We need to do a little bit of math. So let's go ahead and uh, save my brain power for next time. And we will continue on on the Midnight Train. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.